What's up? It's Adzilla with Zilla Mode, and today we're going to be talking about Discovery Mode yet again, and this time I got some pretty good news, so let's get into it. First up, I want to tell you guys thank you so much for continuing to support the channel. You guys have no idea how much your support means to me. We finally hit 500 subscribers on the channel, so again, thank you so much. And I'm back. I was gone for a few days um, this past week because I got sick. The Undertaker's WrestleMania streak has finally been broken. After 15 years, I threw up. Ugh, it was terrible, and I felt horrible, and I could, I mean, I really wanted to make more videos, but I just really couldn't get myself to do it, and I needed the rest, so thank you guys for continuing to support me, and keep on sharing these videos, and getting the word out there, we're doing a lot of good things in, um, you know, the artist scene, really, with a lot of the information that I'm giving you guys, you guys have been contacting me a lot, DMing me, and um, I've been hearing a lot of your music. It's been sounding really cool. So continue to do that. Continue to share the videos. Continue to like and subscribe. Anyway, let's talk about Discovery Mode. So let me give you a little bit of context about my journey to get Discovery Mode. Okay, so I use Amuse, okay? Amuse is a distribution service that is... Um, at first free, you can actually sign up for Amuse right now and start releasing your music using Amuse.io. And it's a great service. I have uh, really enjoyed their service. The reason that I started using them in the first place is because if you pay for their highest thing, which is I think is like 50 bucks or something like that for the entire year, you can have unlimited main artists. So you can have as many artist accounts that you need and you can actually list a lot of main artists on your songs well you can only have up to three primary artists but you get what i'm saying you're not having to pay anything extra like you would have to do on something like distro kid and so that's one of the reasons why i always enjoy to muse and they also pay at the very beginning of the month every single time and so i never have to second guess like where's my royalties and stuff like that so that's one reason I really enjoy their service and their customer service has always been bang on. And so on the topic of customer service, that's what I wanna talk about today because that's how I'm going to be getting discovery mode. So what I did is I actually contacted one of the ARs through a muse that I had con been contacted by before about discovery mode like a long time ago. He had talked about, hey, let's do a deal and you know we'll take a cut of your catalog and then we'll give you discovery mode. Discovery mode is this new thing. And um, I just kind of blew it off. Um, I had the opportunity to get it, but um, you know, I didn't really realize if, you know, how important discovery mode was going to be and like what it even really would be. So I really didn't know if it was going to be worth my time. So I didn't do the deal. And maybe if I had, things would be a lot different now. I have no idea because I have seen a lot of success stories with discovery mode. But with me, I just, yeah, I, it just wasn't really clicking all the boxes. But now that, you know, Discovery Mode is obviously becoming this, you know, high commodity, I was like, okay, let me contact this AR again, see if I can get, you know, some kind of deal aligned so that we can get Discovery Mode for myself so I can give you guys some insight on it. Well, I contacted him and um, I actually contacted him through Instagram directly and we got to talking. We originally were going to do some kind of deal on a song and it just turned out that it just wasn't going to work out. And uh, thankfully, they came through after two months of back and forth. They're actually going ahead and opted all of my songs, all of my entire catalog into discovery mode for April. So this is kind of how discovery mode works. So you, it's like around, I think it's before the 15th or it's on the 15th or something like that. There's a deadline in the middle of the month where you have to opt in your songs before them and then they will go live the next month. So you opt in, there's an opting stage where you can opt in all your stuff, just like as you know, you're pitching songs to editorials, you have a certain time that you can do it before it releases. It's the same thing, you have a certain deadline but you need to opt whatever songs you need to for that next month. So for me, they opted my entire catalog for April. So I won't be able to get access to discovery mode until April when everything goes through. Now, that doesn't mean my entire catalog is going to be accepted. 
It just means that they opted them in and then Spotify can figure out which ones they want to put on discovery mode, which ones are eligible. So, and whichever ones are eligible, they'll actually put on discovery mode. So that's pretty cool. Um, hopefully a good amount of them do. I have no idea whether it's better to just do like your biggest songs versus, you know, just as many of them that are eligible. Cause I'm sure there's like 50 plus that are actually eligible of mine that I could put on there. But I just really don't know if, you know, one is better than the other. I'll just have to figure it out and, you know, just kind of experiment with it and give you guys the results so you guys can see what's going on. Thankfully, this is gonna all be live pretty soon so you're going to be getting access to this hopefully this year actually they've confirmed that it's this year spotify to all the distributors so we know that we're getting it and you know you guys will be able to experiment with me and you guys will be able to get more hands on with discovery mode but that's just basically what you know my journey has been and what is happening currently so in april i should have more insight from my own experience about what discovery mode is doing and how it's working out now i have some more information about another artist that has discovery mode so let's get into that so i have another artist friend that I'll just go ahead and keep anonymous because I don't know if he really wants me talking about his stuff, but I have access to see kind of like what is going on with his stuff on Spotify for Artists. I'm an editor or like a viewer on there. And so I can see what's going on with Discovery Mode because he got access to Discovery Mode or he opted one song to Discovery Mode. And it started this month. He opted in, opted the song in in January and it's gone live in February. And it's kind of interesting because this is his biggest song and it's still not getting any kind of Discover Weekly, or not Discover Weekly, but Discovery Mode push. It's actually saying negative 100%, which means that there's nothing being, there's nothing happening. Absolutely nothing has gone up or down. So it's pretty interesting because it hasn't done any kind of radio stream. It hasn't done any kind of autoplay stream and it's been alive for now 26 days so i really don't know what that means i don't know if there is some kind of like waiting stage before it actually goes out and starts working um because it hasn't even tried i mean it would be one thing if it like tried to push it to radio and autoplay or whatever and then you know it just didn't work out so they just stopped pushing it as much that would be something but this is not showing any kind of radio or autoplay streams. Now, I think it would be interesting to kind of look and see, you know, if it's already getting radio and autoplay streams besides the Discover Weekly or Discover Mode, Discovery Mode stuff. So, um, I don't know. There's a lot of, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of mystery behind it, and I don't really know what that means. So, just kind of keep that in your head there might be kind of like a dead period in the beginning that kind of is like trying to figure out algorithmically how to push something or like where it should be sending stuff to. Um, and uh, yeah, so I don't know, but I, just a little bit of information, a little bit of insight that I saw that I thought may be interesting to you guys and you guys would find some value in. And overall, I hope that you found value in this video. Um, like I said, I really wish I could have made some more videos last week, but I was sick, um, but starting now, going forward, we're gonna be doing daily videos, daily updates, and, and tips and tricks, and all that stuff, so by all means, thank you guys so much um, again, and you know, like and subscribe on this video, click the bell icon um, to get notified whenever I drop videos just like this, and I'm going to stop rambling now. <laughs> I am Sadzilla, you just went into Zillow mode, Zillow out.